Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory that is due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Waha Raka Kodash, Brakatam. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Moonstone who rule well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you, Akim, my fellow laborers that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and our truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if you go back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are, in fact, and indeed, an Israelite, if you could perceive it through the Spirit. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aquaf, which are the sisters, as well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that both believe upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, <coughs> Salakia. It's the brother Karatazah, and I'm back with another video epistle. Lord willingness edifying to those of you who may come across it. Okay, so what sparked this lesson is I just seen on a news outlet, a channel that um, Poland, which is uh, uh, is part of NATO, had it said that Poland is the first NATO country to send 12 uh, fighter jets over to Ukraine. Now we know Ukraine is over there. Beef is having a war with the meats, all right, with the uh, with the Russians. Okay, so, hey man, we're 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 on the cusp of World War Three, man. All right, it's about to go down. The heavenly, it's going to be a nuclear war. So with that, the first scripture <clears throat> that we're going to grab, this is going to be the Book of Isaiah, chapter twenty four, and we're going to start at verse eighteen, and it reads. And it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of of the fear shall fall into the pit. That the noise of the fear is those nuclear missiles uh, crashing down, hitting their mark. Those arrows that have been shot off, hitting their mark. All right. And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken into the snare. All right. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, woman, and child. Mainly the elite are going to hide in their bunkers, all right, in the under, underground bunkers, but actually it's a trap, as we're reading here. He that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare, for the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth do shake, all right? So with that, let's grab a precept. <clears throat> Salakia real quick. The first precept that I'm going to grab, this is going to be the book of Amos chapter 9. We're going to grab verses uh, 2 and 3. All right. Matter of fact, let's, we could uh, start at verse 1. All right. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar and he said, smite the lintel of the door that the posts may shake and cut them in the head. All of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. All right, <clears throat> though they dig into hell, thence shall my hand take them, though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. So Esau gonna try and go into the pits, which are his underground bunkers. All right. Uh, they're going to try and go to their uh, space stations that they have up there to hide. All right. But it's not going to happen. <clears throat> Verse three. And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent and he <clears throat> at Salakia, and he shall bite them. All right. The. Uh. The head of our camp, Gabar, he always speaking on Leviathan, all right? Leviathan is a sea creature, a real sea monster, all right? Like they depicted as Godzilla. He's, man, the Lord got many ways. There's nowhere you can run. There's nowhere to, where to hide, all right? 
Um, so with that, let's go here. <clears throat> so like it. This is going to be the book of Jeremiah, chapter 48. And we're going to start at uh, verse 44. All right. Matter of fact, we'll start at verse 42, because who who also do you hear in the news besides Ukraine, the U.S., Russia? You hear a lot about Moab. All right. Moab are the who who are referred to as the so-called Chinese. All right. But their their biblical identity is Moab. So let's get this. Jeremiah chapter 48 and verse 42. And Moab shall be destroyed from being a people because he have magnified himself against the Lord Yahweh. All right. Fear and the pit and the snare shall be on thee, O inhabitant of Moab, saith the Lord Yahweh. He that fleeth from the fear shall fall into the pit, and he that getteth up out of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For I will bring upon it, even upon Moab, the year of their visitation, saith the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. All right, so this should, this should dispel any uh, talk of, oh, okay, America is going down, which America is modern day Babylon. Uh, the, the, uh, the Chinese got next. No, they don't, man. All right. The Israelites got next and it's going to be forever. It's going to be everlasting. Okay. So with that, uh, you know what? Let's grab one more scripture. <clears throat> Salakia before we, uh, go off into the, back into, uh, Isaiah 24, this is going to be, uh, the book of second edges chapter 16. And we're going to grab verse one. And it reads, woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe means destruction. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. And it's due, man. You, All you other nations have treated the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latinos, the so-called Native Americans, and those who have been scattered abroad, who may look like these other nations, like purity shit. All right. And it's it's time for this shit to end. All right. We don't know. No man knows the day, the time, nor the hour. All right. It, it tells us that. Uh, but it's going to happen because we got these signs. All right. Of everything that's jumping off. OK, so with that, let's go back into the book of Isaiah. All right. This is the book of back in the book of Isaiah 24. Uh, and this time we're going to uh, we're in verses 19. All right. And it reads, the earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. All right. So what could make this happen? I could t I, I could tell you, and you should be able to realize it, ICBM missiles, all right, those intercontinentalist intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, man. All right. Nuclear war is going to come upon this place, man. And we need the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shemel Shai, to deliver us or we're done. All right. So with that, uh, John the Revelator, he saw he saw the destruction of America, uh, well, as well as uh, several other prophets. But let's uh, grab this. All right. This is we're going to go into the book of Revelation. All right. This is going to be the book of Revelation, chapter six, and we're going to grab verses 12. All right, and it reads, And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. All right, what made that happen? These thermonuclear missiles, all right? they So many missiles are going to hit upon America, which is modern-day Babylon, and several other places across the planet of the earth. All right. That it's going to reel. The earth is literally going to reel 
to and fro. All right. Verse 13. And the stars of heaven fell, uh, fell onto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Verse 14. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. All right. So what the, the uh, prophet John the Revelator who received these revelations, what he saw was a mushroom cloud. The mushroom clouds from uh, these thermonuclear ICBM missiles. All right. So with that, let's go back. We Let's go back into Isaiah. And we can close up. This is going to be the book of Isaiah 24. And this time we're in verse 20. No, no, we're in 21. And it reads, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai shall punish the hosts, the armies of the high ones that are on high, and the kings of the earth upon the earth. That's right. Yahweh Shai coming back to collect them crowns. He's not going to literally... Uh, put crowns upon it, all those crowns upon his head, what he's going to do, that's a, a metaphor of him taking all these nations out of power, man, upon the earth. Verse 22, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners and gathered in this pit and shall be shut up in the prison. And after many days, they shall be visited, plain and simple to the point, Esau going into captivity. So with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, I want to say, Call Halal Mala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Waharacha Kodash, Brakatam. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth, who rule well, who most definitely labor in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and our truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a ball, 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 and shalom.